Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video, and today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from August of 2018. Let's start off with books and magazines. Well, this won't take long. You're looking at the only book that I found this month, an original 1973 printing of You're Not Elected, Charlie Brown. All the illustrations are from the animated TV special. Guess that means we'll move right on to the category of miscellaneous. Found a very cool oversized Roger Rabbit puffy sticker that came from McDonald's in 1988. Some American Lung Association Christmas seals from 1962. Some old pirate stickers and a still sealed pack of 1998 Baby Looney Tunes stickers. I also found a couple of postage stamps from Costa Rica, a 1996 Atlanta Olympics medallion from General Mills Cereal, and a 1993 medallion for the 125th anniversary of the Williamson Masons Lodge. That is wild. I found an old matchbook from the Fox Chapel Yacht Club and a guitar pick from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Excellent! New pins are from Back to the Future, French Kiss, The Muppets, the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, this cool Epcot Center pin trading pin, plus Babeland, Nosama Bin Laden, Ask About My Ability to Annoy Complete Strangers, Hire the Left Handed, It's Fun to Watch Them Write, and you are cordially invited to stuff yourself into a large crock pot. Damn! I got a little keychain camera with 14 photos of Niagara Falls in it, and a couple of vintage Niagara Falls postcards. And I got packages of slides from Fort Ligonier, Historic Savannah, and the New Boston. Plus a few really cool photos from the 1940s. That must have been a nice Christmas. Check out this old photo of some now vintage cars parked outside of the Louisiana Downs racetrack. And here's a picture of a kid and a dog jumping on a trampoline. I got a whole pile of receipts from between 1899 and 1937. They include this handwritten receipt from 1899. It looks like some kind of interest payment. Here's a property tax receipt from 1905 for $13.23. A letter from an attorney dated 1910. A check for $4.25 from 1923. And a 1930 receipt from the American Asbestos Products Company. <coughs> Got an unused Hello Kitty pad of paper and some old packaging. This Happy Home rust-proof needle book is from the 50s, and from the 70s comes this vintage Glad Straws box. I found some old newspaper movie ads from 1985. Here's some even older ones from 1976 and 1975. I love this one from the Altoona Drive-In Theater for Mysteries from Beyond Earth. And going way back, here's a page of theater listings from Philadelphia in 1963. The art cinema was showing nude in his pocket. Ooh, how kinky. And finally, for about 35 cents, I got one of these reproduction stylophones. Nowadays, they have three different sounds. <laughs> Time now to check out my audio scores. Only one lonely CD this month. Hits by Boz Skaggs. I got a few 45s. Rescue Me by Madonna, New Power Generation by Prince, Jerk Out by The Time, and Chocolate City by Parliament. And I got cassettes by The Who, Vinnie Vincent Invasion, Triumph, John Fogarty, Dire Straits, Survivor, this is a German release, Katrina and the Waves, Thompson Twins, Dream, and Weird Al Yankovic. And I found another of these Kellogg's Cinnamon Mini Buns cassettes featuring Roxette on one side and Crowded House on the other. This is from 1992. And finally, I took a chance on this cassette labeled Dad's Memoirs. I'm glad I did. It's a 1983 recording by a 72-year-old man named Joseph Heidel, telling all of his memories growing up right around the time that World War I ended. However, what I recall mostly of that trip was getting home after dark and the battery failing on the car and dad had to sit on the running stand on the running board or on the fender and hold a kerosene lamp in front of the car to get home the last few miles fascinating stuff now let's move on to my video scores i got over 50 new dvds got some classics 
Foxy Brown, Savage Sisters, Operation Amsterdam, King of the Pecos, a 20 movie pack of John Wayne movies, Anne of a Thousand Days and Mary Queen of Scots, and It's a Wonderful Life. More recent classics like Adam's Family Values, The Iron Giant, Stand By Me, and The Doors. And TV shows Sex in the City Season 1 and The Cosby Show Season 4. I got Iron Man 2, The Tesseract, Special ID, Vigilante Diaries, Kung Fu Killer, Diamond Cartel, The Rise of the Craze, Throwdown, Nurse, The Day, The Call Up, Fracture, Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life, From Paris with Love, The Day the Earth Stood Still, The Taking of Pelham 123, Escape Plan, Transporter 2, and Taken 2. We got The Corpse Bride, Stranger Than Fiction, Scorched, Tale of Tales, Locuna, Moulin Rouge, Ladies in Lavender, and The Brute. I'd actually been looking for this movie for years. And I got horror movies. Vampires, I Saw the Devil, Blood Punch, See No Evil 2, Mustang Sally's Horror House, Crucible of Terror, A Horrible Way to Die, Hobo with a Shotgun, Antisocial, The Butterfly Effect, Horns, Blood, The Last Vampire, The Orphanage, When a Stranger Calls, The Setment, Hide and Seek, and a double feature of The Last Man on Earth and The Last Woman on Earth. We gotta get these two together. I also got a couple VHS volumes of Columbia TriStar's Magic Window releases of Mr. Magoo cartoons. And I got a VHS tape of A Family's Christmases from 1986 to 1991, an artifact of a time long past. And now we're ready to move on to the last category, toys and games. I got some more trading cards. 186 G.I. Joe cards from 1991. This is almost the whole set. I'm only missing 14 cards. I got some historical cards put out by Upper Deck and Tops, and one Upper Deck Guitar Heroes card. Got a 1981 Kellogg's 3D Superstars card, and a 1986 Slurpee Baseball Superstars disc card from 7-Eleven. A WCW card, a Seeger Rose card, and a Weird Eric card. The amazing power of balloon vision allows Weird Eric to masterfully manipulate balloons. Got one X-Men card, three Advanced Comics cards, four Marvel Universe 94 cards, eight Punisher cards, and 28 Marvel 1992 cards. And I got 35 1991 Safe Kids cards. These were given out as an alternative to candy for Trick or Treat. They feature Marvel Heroes, The Archies, Inspector Gadget, Widget the World Watcher, The Universal Monsters, and Nintendo featuring Super Mario Brothers and Zelda 2. I also got three Pokemon trading cards, three Pokemon gaming cards, and 32 Naruto cards. And I got a pack of Elvis playing cards. Each card has a different image of the king. I got over 100 sheets of Crazy Bone stickers, almost 100 Crazy Bone cards, and this Crazy Bones booklet that includes a checklist of all the characters. I got five Crazy Bones, 17 Squinkies, two Zuru Smashers, two Shopkins, four Trash Packs, a couple of Loch Ness Monsters, a Homie, a Rascal, a Bakugan Brawler, and other fun little colored hunks of plastic. Added this blue Imperial to my Duncan Yo-Yo collection, and I got this little metal lion noisemaker, the kind I had when I was a kid. Got a couple Star Wars vehicles, an Obi-Wan figure, and this classic look Princess Leia figurine. I have no idea where this originated from. Got another Fisher-Price Little People car, a 1983 Avon Scamper Lily figurine, a 1986 Pound Puppy figurine from Tonka, a 1984 Cabbage Patch Kids Super Kid Stamper, and from LJN in 1985, it's my favorite wrestler, the Junkyard Dog. Some of you out there might recognize this. It's a 1985 Nerfle from Parker Brothers. Scratch the cat, to be exact. I also got this 1977 Tommy Baby Windup. It doesn't wind up anymore, but I had to get it because it reminded me of this video that we made back in 1987. But I was most excited to find this. It's a 1983 Ms. Pac-Man figurine from Coleco. Exactly the kind of thing I wanted when I was 12, but was never able to get. And now I have one and it only cost me a nickel. <gasps>
New video games. For PS3, I got The Evil Within. For PS2, I got ATV Off-Road Fury 3, Atari Anthology, and Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. For the Wii, I got LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga and Just Dance 2014. For Xbox 360, I got DJ Hero, and for Nintendo DS, I got Imagine Fashion Designer New York and Imagine Babysitters. <laughs> I also got a PlayStation memory card, two Wii Motion Plus add-ons, and a Call of Duty Black Ops medal. And I found three still-sealed old-fashioned motor cars. I don't know when these were made, but my money is on the 1970s. And I got this totally rad puzzle of retro cereal boxes. Probably my favorite thing this month was this pile of 68 vintage Viewmaster reels. The majority of them show images from around the United States and date back to the late 1940s. These Top Cat ones are from the 60s. Mickey Mouse and the Air and Space Museum are from the 70s. And The Legend of the Lone Ranger and Superman 2 are from the 80s. See, that's funny. I've never seen garbage eat garbage before. And now it's time for the find of the month. It's a 1981 Dukes of Hazard TV tray. Dukes of Hazard was my favorite TV show in the early 80s. I'd watch it every week. And when I was 10, I would have loved to have eaten my lunch off of this. I got everything that you saw in this video for about $15. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift store haul from August of 2018. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. Marshmallows were not known to us at the time, but hot dogs were on occasion done at the end of the stick.